In this example, I've traced the outline of a leaf. Pressing F fills it with one N-Con. It is perfectly flat and can't bend at all. Pressing Alt F fills it with triangles. Follow that up with Alt J to convert some of them to quads. Now we can bend it a bit, but you get these ugly artifacts. Instead of triangulating the leaf, create a new plane with some subdivisions and move it above the leaf. Select all the faces of the plane in edit mode, press X and choose only faces. Fill the leaf with a single angon by pressing F. Select the leaf in object mode and press tab to enter edit mode. Hold Ctrl and left click on the plane. Make sure that you are in auto graphic view so that you can see the leaf and plane on top of each other. Go to Mesh Knife Project. Now the leaf has many square cuts and can bend well. You don't need this plane anymore. There are still small angons, but they don't cause shading issues at this scale. If you really want to, you can turn on Auto Merge and then slide these vertices to each other by pressing G twice in order to clean up these parts. Or select them and press Ctrl X to dissolve them. If you have a flat object with n-cons that you want to convert to quads, you can use a remesh modifier. The remesh modifier by itself doesn't really do the trick. That's because it needs more geometry than just a flat plane to work. Turn on wireframe in the object viewport properties so that you can see better what's happening. Add a solidify modifier with a low thickness value like 0.001. Make sure it is placed above the Remesh modifier. Set the Remesh modifier to Smooth. Carefully increase the Octree depth until you get the amount of faces that you want. Right click and choose Convert to Mesh to apply both modifiers at once. In Edit mode, select All and press M and choose Merge by Distance. Then set the distance to a slightly higher value than what you used for the thickness before. When modeling with booleans, sometimes you end up with large n-gon areas. If they are surrounded by quad geometry, like in this case, you can easily turn them into quads. Just select the n-gons while holding shift. Then press Ctrl T to triangulate. And press Alt J to turn tries to quads. In some cases, you may need to dissolve an edge or two with Ctrl X. Or slide a vertex by pressing G twice with auto merge vertices enabled. Using the knife tool can sometimes create angons or triangles. In edge selection mode, hold Alt and double click on the boundary loop to select it. Then go to Select, Select Sharp Edges. Press Shift, E and 1 on the numpad to crease them with a value of 1. In object mode, add a subdiv modifier with one level of subdivision and then apply the modifier. In edit mode, remove the creasing by pressing Shift E and minus 1 on the numpad. Now the angons and triangles have been converted to quads. As you can see, the creasing has protected the shape from the subdiv modifier. This technique adds geometry, so it's best used early in the modeling process. When you have a model like this that's all triangles, select all in edit mode and press Alt J. Now it's all quads. You can also do this through the face menu. Just make sure all the faces are selected. This only works when the model was originally created with quads and then converted to triangles, as is often the case with models downloaded from the internet.
If you found this topic interesting and would like to know more, don't forget that you can find it in my Blender Secrets ebook, along with almost 2000 pages of other tips. To get an idea of what the ebook is like, you can download the free sample from my website.